Hello everyone, RV Debs here, yay. I'm in Kathy and Mark's house, and um, we're, I'm gonna make some baked ziti, and I'm gonna do it uh, with some onions. I'm gonna peel these eggplants and chop them up in little squares. I'm gonna put that in and saute them with the onions. Hey, there's Sheba. Hi, Sheba. Hi, Sheba, baby. And I think, yeah, I've got two packages of Italian sausage, mild and one sweet. And don't go in the fridge. We've got mozzarella cheese later. We're going to cube and put it all in there with a good homemade sauce that I'm going to, what I'm going to do is after I saute the onions with, we have fresh basil and some garlic and pepper and the eggplant. Then I'm going to put these two Prego traditional in, but I'm going to also add a can of crushed tomatoes and make sure it tastes really good. So look at you. Hasn't she become a gorgeous little girl? She's a sweet girl too. How you doing? Oh, you're just so pretty. Little gray baby girl. Yes, so pretty. She's become so beautiful and so sweet. Of course, she's, um, <laughs> she's something. She's spoiled. Not, not really. She's perfect. Here's the collar I, I, I bought her. Yeah. Anyway, until I start doing a little more. Okay, I'm starting with the sausage. I'm browning it. I've got mild in there and sweet, which I don't really know what the difference is, but I'm going to cook it and drain it, put it on the side. I am, I peeled and cut up the eggplant and salted it. I'm going to let it sit there while the sausage is cooking, and then I'll rinse it off, and that's supposed to bring out all the sweetness in the eggplant instead of a sourness or bitter and the onions and then we've got some really nice fresh basil from the garden yeah I'll, I'll just add some herbs and spices and I'll be back just cook the sausage and we're, Kathy's draining it Yum. and we're gonna start what do you want to do with it put it um, on a dish or bowl you know something that we can add to put it in a bowl. okay so I gotta go find that okay we got time yeah, and then I'm gonna, I've got salt on this. I'm gonna rinse these off really good in a little few minutes. I'm letting it sweat. And the onions, and then some seasonings. And I'm gonna cut up a bunch of mozzarella in little chunks. And tomorrow when we eat, it's gonna melt in our mouth. Right to our hips. <laughs> See, Amanda, for you, darling. <laughs> I don't normally cook too much these days. Yay, look at us. Look at me. Okay. We've got our sergeant here. She's, she's watching over the kitchen. That's her spot. She loves to watch, doesn't she? She does. She, she wants to be a part of everything. She's I'm just a beautiful... Sweet girl, and my name is Sheba, and I like my home. This is my chair. That's my mom. Oh, it's heavy for uh, onions. Yeah. Eggplant. I'm sauteing the onions and the uh, eggplant. I've got red pepper flakes, basil, salt and pepper, and a lot of garlic. <laughs> and it's going to cook down because... The eggplant, I want the eggplant definitely cooked good. So, that's my added thing to ziti. It's a little odd to put that in ziti, but how bad could it be? Yeah. Cooking up the noodles. And we've got a nice chunk of mozzarella cheese that's going to be cut up. And mozzarella. It's going to be beautiful. Beautiful. Smells good.
We're not gonna cook it in the oven until tomorrow, though. We'll just put it together. Yeah. We have fresh basil, but that can go in later. Hey, I have opened up um, the Pregos and a can of big can of uh, chopped up tomatoes. And it's going to cook for a while. A lot of sausage in there. And let it get all hot and yummy. And then we're going to put it in that casserole over there. You see that big old fish? With the macaroni. Which is there. Oh, look. El dente. Mozzarella. When this gets together and gets married, man, it's good stuff. I haven't made it in a long time. Kathy, remember when I went to a party and made big ziti and everyone yeah, loved it? Yeah, everybody freaked out. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. I put I my full party, heart in it. Oh, well, I remember a party with party, but we won't talk about it. Oh, well, you remember? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> remember okay, that. well, Kathy's doing the mixing because she's real neat. <laughs> compared to me. It looks so good and we tasted it and don't you approve? I'm gonna throw in the I'll mix in the mozzarella. Ooh. Look at her, she's as neat as they come. That's filling that pan perfectly. Mm-hmm. Yay. Oh, look at all that. Cheese is going to melt into it. And then we're going to top it with more. Oh, yeah. It's decadent. I haven't cooked in so long. It's going to melt the cheese in. Well, it's yeah, okay. It's Tomorrow will be more. Okay, and what we're going to do is mix it up. Put it in the fridge once it cools down, and then tomorrow, sometime in the afternoon when we know we're going to have dinner, we'll put it in the oven, and right before dinner, we'll melt some more cheese on top. It, perfect. And we have some fresh basil, too, to go on it when it's nice and fresh and hot. That looks good. Good enough to eat, huh? Sounds sloppy. <laughs> Sounds good. Okay, see you all later. When we eat dinner Saturday tomorrow. Saturday night. Beautiful evening. It was really cold today, but it's kind of warmed up a little bit. It's still cool. But it's really pretty out. Tomorrow's going to warm up even more. And then next week we are going to have a huge cool front. Here we are. Home. Come on, Rose. Okay. I'm tired today. I cleaned up the house and did a lot of stuff. Vacuumed, you know. Not just a vacuum, but a heavy vacuum. wonder whose car that is. Right there. Mm, we got a couple of trailers, fifth wheels, that came in. I think they're oil workers. Hi everyone, it is RV Debs. It's Sunday. Got a lot of people in behind here. Check this little trailer out. Oh, it's called a hummingbird. I like that. Okay, I'd love something like that. That would be so easy to pull and, you know, just have place to cut, sleep and... Anyway, got a couple fifth wheels. I know they're workers because they work in the oil fields, I believe. But I don't know about this guy. So cute! Well, the kitties, now we have two kitties that are eating. They hide. 
I can see him from my kitchen window. I fed him a can today. And, ow, it's empty. Oh, wonder where they are. There's places they hide. They can get out of the rain. They really are pretty tough little kitties. I just gave them a little treat. And they're both over there. They're not running away. There's two. Yeah. Cute little kitties. It's going to be very cold tonight. Come here. Lily. Stop barking. There's Paisley on the left and Pepper on the right. I have to tell you, sorry we started eating and I didn't start with my video. But that's what the ziti looks like with salad and garlic bread. And it's a hit. Yum. A lot of sausage. And there's eggplant in it. I don't know if you taste it, but... Not really. And that's it. This is a really nice little room. It's called City Motel. I've never been in here before. But Kathy stayed here years ago when she first came to visit her son. So it's not bad. Like, it's very clean. We checked the bed. Very, very nice. And, and there's a desk, TV, refrigerator and microwave coffee, good size heater, good size AC. And it's really nice. It's old, but it's in very good condition. So if you ever do need to stay at a motel in Knox City, this is it. I won't show. She's not wanting to be in, so we are going to turn. <laughs> it's okay, Amanda. Not everybody wants to be a star <laughs> on YouTube. Say goodnight to everybody, though. Good night. She is here. It's like I'm not in this hotel alone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys. I just wanted to share the room and show you that it's not bad. And there's an easy chair over there, which is very comfortable. What more do you need? Good morning, everyone. It's RV Dubs and Amanda. Say good morning, Amanda. Good morning. And anyway, we are going to drive around a little bit and then go to breakfast. <laughs> so it snowed a little, you guys. It's like on the roof of all, I don't know if you can see. Look, did you see the roof? I'll drive slow because it's a pretty house. There's sleet. I don't know if you want to call it snow or, I don't know if you want to call it snow or sleet, but it's definitely white and it's icy. And it is freezing, it's, it's like 30 degrees. Well, in the car it says 31. But this is um, one of the main streets. And this takes you to uh, the hospital and our, my clinic that I go to in the pharmacy, which is right there. And then this is another place that is open, l and L Cafe. Um, it don't look very open, but anyway. I, don't, I didn't care for it when I did try it. Do you feel your seat warming up? Yeah. Isn't that nice? Yeah, it feels a lot better. Okay, this is like the farm road if you're going to go to Haskell. But there's, you can take Monday in, to Haskell. This is our old, our, our care home. It's the only nursing home. This, this is where Kathy and, and her son are right now. Kendall and Company. Okay. That's where they sell um, all kinds of stuff. Candle melts, oils, essential oils. I'm not going to bug them. Um, Kathy's helping them, basically sort of secretarial kind of stuff. Opening mail, is he? he doesn't like to open mail. But look how farmy that is. It's, like, <laughs> it's, it's very farmy around it's here. Very farmy. Like you got your little town, and then all around the town is farmland. So I thought I would take Amanda around just a little bit. It's not much to see, really. But the seat warmers are making it a lot better. 
this street just takes you right to the main road that takes you to Monday. And in that direction to Monday, in this direction, and, um, I showed you where uh, Stephanie and Lee, remember last time I showed you their ranch? Yeah. Yeah, that's how you get there. And if you went, okay, where, are, where I'll show you. you can, and now I know every direction I used to be so lost. Oh my God, it took me, it took me a good year to figure out where I was. I have to get a mask out of my car. I have masks. I have a clean, a clean mask. This is where I get my propane, and it's just two gas stations. This is the second one. We don't have a signal, just a blinking light. McDonald's is an hour drive away. And then, oh, it's gonna go the other way. That's okay. This is City Hall. I'm just gonna turn around. Betty that works there. You want to go see the city hall, and then we have our cops. They look like they're all there, all four of them. This is the back roads. Get the flood over here. Going back to the main road. You got all kinds of houses, and they have snow on their roof. That's really weird. You've got a lot of churches. If you counted all the church, here's a church. There's so many churches in this town that it's just unbelievable that there's only 1,130 people and there's got to be 20 churches. I don't know anything. I don't. <laughs> but you have nice homes, you have crappy homes, you have stone homes that are really neat. Now, people that really care and then next door they don't care at all. See, the main road's right there. I'm just taking the back. You know, a little, little different view. You know Avery, remember? Yeah, she has, a, her and her husband have a really sweet home. Not far from here. Nothing's far from here, actually. See, there's a lot of RVs, too, set up a lot of people's land. Because you can do anything. Whoa. It's quite the dip. <laughs> I was wondering if you noticed that. <laughs> I'm glad it wasn't going fast. See, you know, this is somebody's property. And it, you know, it's like, there's really no set things that you have to do in your house. Look at houses. all the woodwork they do there. I know, that's pretty cool. Well, wow. I can't believe that there's literally snow. It's not a that lot, but it's like there. It I know, some of them are. The one next to me is abandoned. People yeah. go, oh, you should get in that one. That one's a disaster area. It's flooded. You know, it looks pretty up from the outside, though. It's not. Yeah, this is a mixture. This is a real working class neighborhood right here. This, as far as this part of the area. I guess we're all working class. There's, there's another church. There's churches, like I said, everywhere. For sale. Let's buy a house. You can buy a house here for like thirty thousand to fifty thousand, sixty thousand. You can know, have a nice home. Just <laughs> in the middle of people's houses. Yeah. This is okay. This is the main. Oh, I know what I want to do. So we go to breakfast. We're gonna go to the post office and get. A, I have a package to pick up. Might as well do it. Let me get you your mask, too. Just... Do you need mask hostage, lady? <laughs> I am videoing at the moment. It's okay. <laughs> we came over here to get some masks because Kath, uh, Kath, because Amanda has her, uh, her uh, box of uh, disposables. Oh, there you are. So we're headed over, but if you look in the back seat, check out three boxes, you guys. I'm going to go home and open presents. Oh my gosh. So I will be like letting you know what I got. Thanking everybody. I'm already going to thank you ahead of time, but I will thank you again. We're going to go have some breakfast. Yeah. 
and it's uh, 33 degrees, snow flurries, cold. Bye. So now we are headed, I'm taking y'all with me to breakfast. The biggest problem is with food is I'll start eating it and forget to take a picture and be all gone. That's because I like to eat. <laughs> I get excited when I get my meal and I'm like, you know how some people are, like, particular how they, this is our meal, you know? Mm -hmm. Mine's like, well, I ordered. It was really good. I already ate half of it, <laughs> sorry. Yeah. This house is completely abandoned. And messed up, too, not just abandoned. I'll, and the stray cats and stuff, they can get in there if they, if they need to get out of the weather. Poor kittens. I'm going to give them some more food. Okay, so this is our main road. And if you were to go and just keep going. It's a great ride, but it's to venture for the next time. They knew we were coming. Why are they on the line too? These people. Wow. They don't back into me. Ooh. <laughs> we're at Isabella's for breakfast. There's Amanda. <laughs> Okay, I just want to show you the place. Oh, I hit video. Like I said, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot, but it, this is a Spanish omelet. It's delicious. And um, Amanda's got, it's called migas. And it's basically, it's hers is eggs, ham, cheese, tortilla strips, I think. Yeah. And, and whatever kind of seasoning, Mexican-y. And mine is Spanish omelet, and it's got sausage and cheese and ranchero sauce. I'm happy camper. Okay? Sorry, I, I started and then realized again I didn't show you. <laughs> well, I just wanted to add a little something at the end of this video. Um, Amanda did not want to be on camera much, and I never, I never forced somebody to, you know, for me to video them. We had a great time. It's too short. I wanted her to spend another, another night, but she's got work to do tomorrow. And it's so cold and wet. And it's, it was supposed to be in the 80s today, but it didn't hit 40. I don't think it hit 40. Probably in the 30s all day. Wet, rainy, snow flurries, ice. There's still ice out on the deck of my, my deck. So that's the kind of day we're having. I got three packages. I will open those packages. Well, I've opened them, and I will share what's in them uh, on a in a the next video because this would have been too long. Um, sh but Amanda brought me some really sweet presents. Let me share that with you. Um, let's see here. Bracelets, and they have three three bracelets. One says blessed, and. Yeah, I love them. And you can adjust them, which is nice. Um, pair of earrings. Um, she got, and her daughter gave me these really pretty beads, glass beads. They're turquoise little beads. They're really pretty. I wore them last night. And a necklace too. I am so disorganized right now because I had gotten the packages from her when she came last yesterday. And then today we had three packages and they were full of stuff. So I'm a little overwhelmed. Um, but anyway, so I'll open up. I got a package from Colette and I got a package from Chuck. It's Colette's in Canada, Chuck's in New Hampshire. And Diane, and I think Diane is in Georgia. So I will have to share that at a later time because this is getting too long. I hope you enjoyed the video. It's it's just our, a little bit of cooking. And just know that I enjoyed the company and hope she comes back some other time soon. Next, I'll probably go visit her. I am um, I'm loving all my stuff. I'm wearing some lipstick I got about a week ago. Clinique. 
No other makeup. I look pretty messy. But anyway, you guys, this is the new sweatshirt that I picked up at Walmart, and it's very oversized and comfortable. Never thought I could stand the turtleneck in the house. It's so cold that I, I'm feeling comfortable in this, and I have a shirt under it and the heater on. That's cold. It just It's so extreme here in Texas. So you guys, I hope you're having a great week. To, it's a Monday, so a great start to your week. And I'm going to try to upload this today. Um, I'm not sure if you'll get it before tonight, but I'll be on my live stream on Monday late after Big Brother. So probably about 9 p.m. Central Time. So it'll be a late night. And then next week, Monday and Friday, normally I'm on about 7.30. I've been kind of enjoying a little later on Fridays. But just bear with me and uh, hit the notification bell so that you know when I go live or I upload a video. And, um, geez, everyone that's been sending me presents, thank you so much. I'm, I'm going to do another video, so let's end this here. Peace out, my friends. Love you guys.